congratulate the community of the Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary on this occasion of 50 years of celebration. The church exists to serve the society. The church has to be trained and equipped to serve the society through its members. For equipping and preparing the people of God in the church, we need to train and prepare pastors as its leaders. Ramana Theological Seminary has been serving the church and the society by training the pastors to carry on the mission entrusted to us by God for the last 50 years. This is an occasion to remember the efforts of the pioneers and four members of this institution to look forward and to march forward the future. I thank God for the life, dedication and vision of the four members such as Bishop Leslie New Begin, Bishop Garraj Peter, Bishop Carl Dale and Bishop Jad Devdas as well as the principals of Trimarayur and Guru Sala, they are Bishop Salomini and Bishop Easter Raj, and all the principals and staff members of this seminary. I thank God for the opportunity to be the chairperson at the Council of the Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary at this juncture of Jubilee. I take this opportunity to thank all the member churches, bishops, the governing council, the executive committee for their effort and commendable service and involvement in carrying forward the unique challenge of our Lord Jesus Christ that I am the way, the truth, the life, the motto by which the seminary continues to function. May God bless each one of us, the seminary and the church at large. This documentary is produced and compiled at the juncture of the 50th year celebration of the Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary. Bible calls this as Jubilee, an occasion of salvation and an occasion of celebration. This is not a chronological history, neither metaphysical deconstruction. This is a narrative which is consisting of human practice in history what the New Testament presented as Jesus story what the Old Testament presented as Exodus story there are two reasons for presenting this we want to acknowledge the heritage of the past the heritage of Guru Sala 
Theological College at Trangkaba, the Tirumarayur Theological College at Tirumarayur, which belonged to the CSI, and innumerable people who brought together this ecumenical effort. Secondly, we want to inspire people who see this for the future decades ahead to give hope to witness to faith and to express our love as a journey as a way as the truth and as the life for which Jesus was witnessing Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary emerged out of the merger of two well established theological seminaries Guru Sala Theological College Trankubar and Tamil Nadu Theological College Tirumarayur Similar understanding between the two colleges in terms of wider ecumenism as commitment for secular solidarity with oppressed people and search for personal freedom together with democratic federalism marked the beginning of the Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary in the year 1969. Vali vai mai vaalvu engal adithalamagum vaalvu theedum vaiyum engal panikalamagum வழிவாய்மை வாழ்வு எங்கள் அடித்தளமாகும் வாழ்வு தேடும் வையம் எங்கள் பணிக்களமாகும் Gurusala at Trankubar of the Tamil Evangelical Lutheran Church was the first Protestant theological school started in 1717 by the Trankubar Mission through the German pietists Grandler and Ziegenbalg sent by the efforts of Danish Royal House this was the first protestant mission with far reaching consequence for christianity in south india the spirit which drove this mission is personal commitment to the gospel that reforms and transforms the society Tamil Nadu Theological College Tirumarayur of the Church of South India had its beginning in 1900 in Nazareth Tutukoran and had its origin in 1800 at Soyapuram The Tamil Nadu Theological College at Tirumarayur has the heritage of missionaries known for commitment to Tamil linguistic cultural traditions Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary is an ecumenical venture of Tamil Protestant churches. The merger of Guru Sala and Tirumarayur Colleges happened at the time when there was an upstream of Dravidian movement which highlighted the commitment to Tamil and democratic federalism against the policy of imposition of Hindi by the government of India. Madurai as the cultural capital of Tamil Nadu is closely associated with the Tamil language. The city has numerous historical monuments. The essence of Tamil Nadu can be experienced in Madurai in terms of political and cultural ethnicity. On 25th January 1965 A full-scale riot broke out in Madurai protesting against Hindi imposition which spread throughout the state of Tamil Nadu which made the then Prime Minister of India to give assurance that English would continue to be as the official language as long as the non-Hindi speaking states wanted. The recent excavation at Keeladi has brought to light the cultural and linguistic heritage of the Tamil people to pre-Vedic and Indus Valley civilization period. It has revealed a Sangam era settlement dated to the 6th century BCE by carbon dating. Keeladi is located around 14 kilometers from the Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary. At the present juncture in India, the majoritarian nationalism in the form of hindutva and religious fundamentalism of various groups systematically curtail and distort information setting into motion the spiral of violence between perceptions of us over against the other under the pretext of identities this has resulted in undermining of democratic federalism threat of nuclear annihilation and destruction of ecological survival 
we require a broad and strong coalition or union of different people and determination to save and share the nature from the irrevocable destruction. Such broader alliance of union across cultures, religions and ethnic and all barriers should be the integral part of theological learning and gospel witness. The way, the truth and the life to which the biblical faith calls us and sends us out is relevant more than ever. The merger of Gursala and Tirumarayur involved a great deal of sacrifice on the part of Lutherans and the CSI, a sacrifice done for the cause of ecumenical objective spirit of establishing one center of theological education for a wide spectrum of Protestant Christians in and around Tamil Nadu. The mainline churches, which is the Arcot Lutheran Church, Tamil Evangelical Lutheran Church and the Diocese of Tamil Nadu of the Church of South India came together for establishing this project. The missionary spirit came from people such as Bishop Leslie Newbegin, CSI, President Doreraj Peter, ALC and Bishop Deal, TELC. Ecumenical perspectives proceeded from the concept of ransom for supporting theology in vernacular language through Eric Nielsen financial support from the Theological Education Fund. Supportive resources were also received from the American Board of Missions Madurai and Arcot Mission. The campus land was offered by the Church of Sweden Mission through the Tamil Evangelical Lutheran Church by the efforts of Bishop Deal. With a brief history of 50 years, Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary has managed to achieve a distinct name amongst the Tamils and overseas Christians and non-Christians in churches and society. On the one hand, it has produced well over 1,500 pastors and around 25 bishops in Tamil Nadu. This also includes a couple of bishops who had done their postgraduate studies here and are now living in places outside Tamil Nadu. TTS started off with a new distinct tradition in which the spirit of indigenization mingled with learning to living which is known as action reflection method. A person who laid the foundation for this heritage was the first principal of TTS, Right Reverend Dr. Samuel Amritham. From the organization of life in TTS to relating urban life situations in Madurai and rural life, the theological education was not isolated to questions of culture but to life issues and liturgical practice. These were translated into classrooms, urban off-campus and rural development giving emphasis to community organizations. Reverend Y. David pioneered voluntary living with people and the action reflection method of community organization. Out of this were born Arulagam, a home for the destitute women, Imbayillam, home for the aged, Uipa, unemployed young people's association, prison ministry. Tamil Nadu Irayil Kalluri in Mula Maha, Nadatapata Sirai Arulpani, Mula Maha, in the Arulagam Aram Bittade Endisonal, Adamehayahade. Reverend Dr. Bill Harris and Mrs. Margaret Harris had a deeper vision to reach out to the prison inmates, to give them hope, and to show them the way for redemption and reconciliation with truth. They identified and gave protection to women who wanted to come out of human trafficking and gave them shelter and legal protection, which laid the foundation to Arulagam. Uipa, Unemployed Young People's Association. This is a very important thing to do with the Sirapana Murayle. This is a very important thing to do with the Sirapana Murayle. Uipa, Tholipa, Chimayam, Sirapana Murayle. Uipa, Tholipa, Chimayam, Sirapana Murayle. Manati 
ನೀನಿಲಿಂದ ಸುತ್ತು ಕೇಳ ಸೇತ ಎನ್ನಲಾವ ಸುಲ್ಲು ನೀನಿಲಿಂದ ಸುತ್ತು ಕೇಳ ಸೇತ ಎನ್ನಲಾವ ಸುಲ್ಲು ಜ್ಞಾನತ್ತ ಚೊಲ್ಲಿರ ಜ್ಞಾನತ್ತ ಚೊಲ್ಲಿರ ಇಂಬಯಿಲ್ಲಂ ಹೋಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಏಜೆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ಗಳೇ ಇಂದ ಇಂಬ ಇಲ್ಲಂ ಎಂದ್ರ ಮುದಿಯೋರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಂ ಆಯಿರತ್ತು ತೊಳಾಯಿರತಿ ಎಳುವತ್ತಿ ಆರಾಮ್ ಆಂಡು ತಮಿಳ್ನಾಡು ಇರೈವೆಲ್ ಕಲ್ಲೂರಿಯು ಮದುರೈ ರಾಮನಾಥಪುರಂ ತಿರುಮಂಡಲಮೂ ಇಣೈಂದು ಮುದಿಯೋರ್ಗಳೇ ಪರಾಮರಿಪದಕ್ಕಾಗ ಉರುವಾಕಪಟ್ಟ ಒರು ಇಲ್ಲಂ ಆಗು This face can be identified from the year 1980 roughly at the time of the second principal reverend Dr Nyana Robinson while the ministerial emphasis continued the whole time Mission Institutes a mission outreach program in the rural and nearby villages teaching mission Reverend Dr Thomas Thangaraj implemented and extensively took forward the program at various dioceses where the teaching staff of TTS take the core theology to general church congregation Tekka theological education for Christian commitment and action a one year theological program for lay people Reverend Honest Chinnaya, Reverend Dr Israel Selvanayagam, Theophilus Apavu and Reverend Ramani played a key role in carrying forward the program. A new push was given for broader ecumenism in terms of relating to interfaith questions and social justice initiatives. Rural Theological Institute started in 1977 led to further growth. It took up the land issues of Dalits in Ramankulam and Perungudi. Samuel Amrudam, Dayan Chand Kar, Jack Kaya, Arthur Jai Kumar, Professor Chellappa, Theophilus Appavu, John Jay Haran, Solomon Victors, David Rajendran, Isaac Kadirvelu, Charles Singaram and Daniel Kirubaraj served as directors. Many social integrated programs were started through RTI which was the root cause for some of the current social projects. Tamil Nadu Irayal Kalluri Madurai Managar la irukku. Ana Madurai enbadu gramangal adhigamaga niraindha oru managar. Adanal inge Kalluri ki payichi ku varakudi aayargalai grama soolalilum nagara soolalilum Irayal kalviyai payichi vippadhu engalude aarama nokkamaga irundathu. அதன்படியில் ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி எழுபத்தி ஏழில் கிராமிய இறையல் நிறுவனத்தை முன்னாள் முனைவர் டாக்டர் சாமுவேல் அமிர்தம் அவர்கள் ஆரம்பித்திருக்கிறார்கள் இன்றைய வரைக்கும் கிராமிய இறையல் நிறுவனத்தில் மாணவர்கள் தங்கி குருகுல கல்வி முறை போல ஆசிரியர்களோடு இணைந்து கற்கின்ற முறை தொடர்ந்து செய்து வருகிறோம் For women's rights Mrs Bimla Chandrasekharan founded a group which helps domestic workers and women to receive the right they are entitled for கடந்த ஐம்பது ஆண்டு கால டிடிஎஸ் வரலாற்றில் முதல் முறையாக ஒரு ஃபென்னா ஃபைனான்ஸ் கோஆர்டினேட்டர் பொறுப்பு எடுத்திருக்கிறது எனக்கு ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாக இருக்குது Expansion of health work and initiative by Reverend Koil Pillai and Mr Hamsaraj to help slum dwellers and people involved in sanitary and domestic work to take care of their health. They were given awareness on the importance of working with precaution in a way that the health does not get affected. we emphasize health as human rights idlm integrated dalit liberation movement an initiative organized by reverend dalit nyana shekharan for dalits women peasants and workers more number of atrocities lynching were happening against the dalits tts involved in organizing protests and asking for action from the government center for social analysis an outcome of gabrielle dietrich and bus vilanga resource center documentation center where people can come for resource or information about social analysis they often conduct colloquia seminars and discussions on special occasions for the theological students as well as the general secular public in order to clarify and integrate student exposure through theological understanding and reflection time in which the center was built up was still very much inspired 
uh, by the struggle against the emergency in the mid 70s and so transformation of society and uh, people's participation were very very important because that struggle had been won as we all know and uh, so it was an attempt uh, to really connect the theological education uh, to the transformation of the society and to what was uh, going on among different people's movements not only in Tamil Nadu but in the country as a whole. Rural Health Program Free Health Checkups for the Poor. Reverend Dr. Kambar Manikam explicitly improved and elaborated ongoing projects such as the Integrated Dalit Liberation Movement DLM and the Dalit Resource Center DRC in 1994 which helped improve the life quality of Dalits oppressed as well as provide a practical theological insight giving awareness to the students about the oppression in the society and how we could partake and encourage our church congregation to take part in liberation movements. The SCST Act was used and cases were filed against atrocities, which was not the case till then. Integration of Urban and Rural Initiatives SAC, provides practical exposure for BD students to experience the pain and difficulties faced by common people and to search for ways of empowerment in a theological perspective. Alternate Health and Alternative Education Alternative health programs such as Siddha and Homeopathy were encouraged to adapt to a more safe and natural healing process. Alternative education program such as the Thai Tamir Palli where the BD students stay with the public in rural or urban atmosphere which in turn enlightened the social issues. MSc in Communication was started which is affiliated to Madurai Kamraj University. The 25th year celebration of the Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary was gloriously celebrated with distinctive visitors like Dr. Horst Paulman, K. R. Dattye, Chaya Dattar, Bharat Patankar, Elizabeth Shushla Fiorenza, Hyun Chung Kyung, Chid Myers, M. M. Thomas, Nandita Haksar, Varuulai, a meal cooked in one pot and ate together by all, is an attempt to overcome caste and other discrimination conceived by Rev. Dr. Theophilus Apavu to create a sense of sharing and manifest a sense of children of one family which is now being extended to interfaith friends in Pandita Ramabai and Ambedkar Hostel and slum dwellers. Women's studies. Feminist theology were introduced in TTS as study programs which was later taken to Senate of Serampore which in turn recommended the topics to other theological colleges. TTS was taken to a wider platform expanding its borders by partaking in the national and international politics in terms of people movement. During this period, 
TTS was working along with various national and international people's movements, intervening at political and theological issues at broader political levels in solidarity for peace. The TTS thought and action-wise exposure was taken into global level in order to be part of problem-solving in everyday political situations. Gabrielli with National Alliance for People's Movement, Dhyan Chand Kar with peace efforts in Sri Lanka and interfaith works with Swami Agnivesh, Henry Tufain, Justice Krishna Iyer and others. Revival of rural congregation were established as a field mission to revive many abandoned churches which is not done as an evangelism but as a day-to-day -day support for the local people. During the time of Reverend Dr. Mohan Larbir, the fifth principal, development in teaching and non-teaching staff with equipments and staff training was enhanced. Masters of Theology programs proliferated to subjects like Communication, Social Analysis, New Testament, History of Christianity, Christian Theology and Doctoral programs in Social Analysis, Communication and New Testament. Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary has pioneered the Master's level program in various subjects. To mention a few, Social Analysis is one of the subjects that has been offered only in the TTS from the beginning. Even now, this course has not been offered anywhere else in India. Another course which is uh, offered at the master's level is the Christian ministry in homiletics. Homiletics has been a subject which is very much of wanted by the church and the TTS has uh, come forward to offer this course in here and many students come forward to study this course. And there are other subjects like Old Testament, New Testament, Theology, History of Christianity in India and Communication. Rural living programs were experimented in different far-off villages such as Senji, Ichampati, etc. <laughs> Master of Theology and Doctor of Theology programs. TTS is an academic community that fosters sharing, encouraging and applying knowledge. Particularly, theological research is essentially crucial for new paradigms for praxis. TTS has been offering Doctorate in Theology, DTH studies in two main branches of studies, namely Communication and Social Analysis. These two branches of studies were pioneered by the Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary and in fact TTS is the only seminary offering a doctoral program in these two branches of study under the Sarat of Sarambur fraternity. The library was expanded and the administrative office were computerized with operation system and digital data management. Reverend Dr. Nyanavaram took the lead to provide opportunities for students to partake in church worships at various dioceses. Worships were made not just in standard order, rather theology was explained through songs and storytelling, Kada Kalak Shebam, Tamil Isai Varipade, etc. <laughs> Field missionaries were identified and encouraged to join theological education. Two thousand ten to fifteen, the seminary went into the trial of inner contradiction of not living up to what is proclaimed. It spilled out since it failed to be resolved internally. 
Reverend Dr. David Rajendran took the lead to reconstruct the TTS with the cooperation of all constituting churches, namely the CSI, the TELC, the ALC, the Overseas Partners, Friends of TTS and the Determined Stand of the Senate of Serampore. The Democratic Secular Movement Partners of the TTS like MUTA, Madurai University Teachers Association, Sweepers Union, Bimala's Women's Movement, Ekata, Mrs. Geeta and the leadership provided by the Chairperson Right Reverend Dr. M. Joseph, the restoration was made possible. Though it is not unusual for institutions to face crisis, what is rare is that they can come out to restore and reform by themselves. What was needed is a healing touch that could bring together the workforce to overcome divisions and at the same time setting right anomalies left behind, convincing them that struggle and reconstruction are inevitable part of growth towards wholeness. No one was victimized, reconciliation was through shalom, the staff moved forward not as opposites but as one team. Rainwater harvesting Alternative energy, Aquatron eco toilet system were implemented in the campus. The chapel was renovated and extended. <laughs> TTS has a well-founded alumni association. Tiruchavikum, Kalurikumana, Uravu Palate, Ameka Kudia, Uru Mikapuri, Amepahe, Munaman or Peravi, Amin the Kuru. Is it Kadam the Aimu the Andhala Mahe, Nadam the Kundra Kuru? Kalatilundu, Kalurikurum Budu, our little Tangi Rupur Kahu, our little Anmikatil, Valandu Kuru Kahu, Uru Putuluchi Mayate, Inge Kati. Adil our Lundu Tangi Rundu, Pudi a Karatukali, Pudi a Yreili, Terindu Kana or Wai Pagavu in the Munai Manavar, Peravi, Amin the Rikre. Journey of Faith that happened to be the 500th year of the Christian Reformation for which justification by faith was the co revelation of the way. The yearly faculty retreats were organized beginning with the Madras Diocese at Chennai with the theme Hope, followed by a retreat at Tirumarayur themed Love and Varyum Varvum in Trankubar in the consecutive years. The theme of Messianic Love made us to acknowledge Tirumarayur heritage and the Jubilee year theme which took up the motto of the TTS, I am the way, the truth and the life. TTS moved forward with hope and love, gaining strength through faith and reforms which we have accumulated over the last 50 years. The contribution of Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary can be classified into the ministerial initiatives on the one hand and secular contributions to the society on the other side. These efforts have been supported by the academic initiatives. Mission Studies It is high time that we focus on the theological formation guided by the vision of God, integrate ecological, socialistic justice commitments, interfaith solidarity for peace, inclusive and egalitarian social vision against caste, ethnic and class, patriarchal barriers. <laughs> Satsu Makala Uringanikirke, Avergali Governi Padarke, Avergali Vapor Kur Nalla and Pola, and Avragi Yesu Christu, Nanme Segravaga Sutitrinda and Dinamasikindo, Namum Nanme Segravaga, Alain the Pirin the Pania Trodarke, Ipidip Namak Munadi in the Vergal or Yedaka Tagar Kragal, Ali or Nokamaga Vaiti, Tirchavaikaga, Suyanala Mila or Tirpanisaya, Nam and Laram Alaka Padindo, Adwe in the center Nodaya, Nokamago Merkur, Nand. Our focus to develop theological, ministerial and personal formation through our education following the journey of faith, hope and love, keeping the vision of God manifest in the expression of Jesus, I am the way, the truth and the life. These are distributed throughout the four years of the residential training. <laughs> Irayal Manakar 
திருப்பணி பயிற்சியில் அருட்பணி பயிற்சியில் ஈடுபட்டு தங்களை மேம்படுத்திக் கொள்வதற்கான வாய்ப்புகளையும் ஏற்படுத்தி கொடுக்கின்றது அந்த பணியை தான் அருட்பணி திருப்பணி இயக்கம் நிறைவேற்றுகின்றது agriculture exposure during intensive practical exposures women studies and arulagam bachelor of divinity second year in the second year the student is given the urban living experience in the slum areas specific focus is given to the unorganized sector and their efforts for job and social security this follows with the various community organizational development and social action coordination programs of the past human rights concerns relate to dalit women housing children minority rights issues of transgender and sexual minorities as part of human rights which follows up with certain works of arasaradi forum for human rights they are on the off campus program and we have made them to stay in 13 different um, housings around uh, madurai in 10 kilometers distance and this program mainly concentrates on um, making students to relate with one another and uh, to relate with the society they live in industrial development and plight of workers are the focus during intensive practical exposure they also extend their outreach to old age home in bailam and unemployed young people's association bachelor of divinity third year starts with internship program in which students are placed in voluntary agencies action groups and people's movement organizations which address various issues through direct participation of people who are affected this is an exposure of unique kind in which students work with the agency analyze the issue along with the people through participation towards transforming the situation they continue theological ministerial and personal aspect of the issues and present it as discussion to the community at large many organizations are appreciative of our students for their active contribution in their activities this is due to their exposure in the first two years and the subjects related to social analysis the students are exposed to caste patriarchal and class structures in action and function and interact with people towards alternative agriculture green economy and so on they stay in the rural location for the rest of the academic year in the tetathin valiyaga than tamil nadu irayil kalluriyil irundhu payindru sendru tiruchavigilile paniyatti kondirukkindra அனைத்து ஆயர்களும் கிராமப்புற மக்களின் வாழ்விற்காக திருப்பணியை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றார்கள் என்பது தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் efforts that started as interreligious dialogue that dealt with creeds and concepts of religious system has gradually developed into interfaith dialogue including secular atheistic and materialist friends and moved towards prayer and grassroots initiatives and action the ox new begin center for mission studies is meant to continue this effort the experience and learning in second and third year after completing their social exposure are analyzed in order to theologically relate to their insight which helps in further upgrading our awareness about the current situation and needs of the oppressed in this way provide the required support to the society as well as improve our curriculum to educate ourselves and the students There are also mission studies which coordinates with women's ministry church ministry works and church relations Tiruchavi Uravu Thari Sarbaga Tamilagam Mulugum irukkindra Tenindi Tiruchavai Tamil Suvisesham Nudana Tiruchavai Argaal Nudana Tiruchavai Sanda Palveri Tiruchavigalukku varudum muluvudum naangal sendru Kurippitta naayitukalai kaalai valipaattai Tamil Nadu Uriyal Kalluri Nyayaraga naangal anusarithu Kallurikkum Tiruchavikkum irukkindra uravai naangal valattu varugrom 
சிறப்பாக திருச்சபைக்கு நாங்கள் செல்கிற பொழுது திருச்சபை மக்களுக்கான சமூக விழிப்புணர்வையும் திருமலையை புதிய பார்வையில் பார்த்து ஆண்டவர் இயேசுவினுடைய இறையரசுக்கான கலப்பணியை தொடர்ந்து செய்வதற்காக நாங்கள் உற்சாகமூட்டி வருகிறோம் திருச்சபையினுடைய பல்வேறு தேவைகளை கல்லூரி சந்திக்கிறது கல்லூரியுடைய பொருளாதார தேவையை திருச்சபை சந்தித்து வருகிறது இப்படி ஒரு பரஸ்பர உறவை கடந்த நாற்பது ஆண்டுகளுக்கு மேலாக தொடர்ச்சியாக நாங்கள் செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் There are libraries at TTS Main in the Center for Social Analysis and at Dalit Resource Center. In the Nulagam Nulagathil, in the third year, the number of people who have been born in the third year, the number of people who have been born in the third year, the number of people who have been born in the third year, the number of people who have been born in the third year, the number of people who have been born in the third year, the number of people who have been born in the third year, the number of people போன்ற மாணவர்கள் எல்லாம் ஆய்வுக்காக இம்மையத்தை இம்மூலகத்தை பயன்படுத்தி வருகிறார்கள் communication center has a recording studio and auditorium the tamil nadu theological seminary pioneer in introducing the communication studies in the year 1975 they asserted that if at all our ministerial candidates involved in the ministry of the church they have to understand how media works in the entire fabric of the society and later we moved the focus towards how to use media in the ministry of the church every aspect of life in tts leads towards holistic spirituality especially the worship services conducted here forms the student in all the aspect especially in the ministerial formation Apart from Saturdays we have worship every day in a week on Mondays the second year students conduct Tamil Sai Valipadu and on every Tuesday first year students conduct traditional worship and on every Wednesday the final year students conduct the critic service which will be critiqued after the worship all the trainings that has given in the chapel have enlightened the students to know different culture tradition and incorporate them in their own order of worship and serve in their own churches center for social analysis and dalit resource center are also documentation centers which serve as a resource center for people's action samuha aayu mayathinudaiya inda moolagam undu miga mukkiyamaana ondru adhaavudhu இந்தியாவை பொறுத்தவரில் டாக்குமெண்டேஷன் சென்டர் அதாவது ஆவணப்படுத்தல் என்பது பல இடங்களில் நடக்குது ஆனால் வந்து இந்த சோசியல் இஷ்யூஸை வந்து சமூக பிரச்சனைகளை அதை வந்து நேரடியாக உடனே உடனடியாக குறைந்தபட்ச நேரத்தில் ஒரு நபர் வந்து பார்த்து அதை படித்து புரிவதற்கான ஒரு வாய்ப்புகளை ஏற்படுத்துகிறது தான் இந்த ஆவணப்படுத்தல் மையத்தினுடைய நோக்கம் Having started from the spirit of Tamil cultural indigenization, TTS moved towards subaltern moorings for social transformation. Having established outlines of mission and ministries within the frame of secular and interfaith concerns, TTS has converted practical exposure into academic, ministerial and personal formation in terms of theological education. facing fundamentalism and cultural nationalism tts has a great task of uniting contextual assertions of women dalits tribals in india and south asia towards the vision of god who affirms social and ecological justice the capitalist accumulation will intensify crisis in the spheres of education health livelihood as well as biological and ecological survival new ideological forms will divert people from the real struggles ideologies such as fundamentalism casteism 
nationalisms will divide people further. The liberal and liberational ideologies and ideas will be undermined. Missions and ecumenism have to be reinterpreted in this context to inspire the weak, to reach out to the struggle of the people for transforming towards freedom. In this, TTS has a definite role, though it is small, to walk in the way of the Messiah towards the truth and towards affirming life. In the words of the first principle, Bishop Samuel Amirdam, we may not manage what we ought to have. We have not managed what we can, but we are not what we were earlier. In the words of Hillel, who interpreted, love your neighbor and love your God as thyself. If it is not I live for myself, who else will be? If I am for myself only, what am I? If not now, when? This is the challenge for TTS in the decades ahead. Thank you.